Hey everyone, it's Marianne from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. This little video is about Aetna Medicare Advantage. So we keep getting often hearing from people in Florida. Oh, I love my Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. I have to have my Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. No way are we going to allow for change because I have to keep my Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. Okay. The plan that you have today, if Aetna, the Aetna Medicare Advantage that is currently on hold from the court, if that is allowed to go through, the plan that you have today ends. And it is not the same plan. And I want to remind you something. In 2022, when they were going to um, push us into the Medicare Advantage plan and you had the right to stay in the plan that you were in, but you'd have to pay for it, you could have kept that Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. This was in the beginning. I know it seems like ages ago. But for those people that live in Florida or outside of New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, you would be paying. And let me show you. Because I understand how easy it is for all of you to forget. But we have an extensive database, and I want to bring back history to you. So let's go look. So this is a three-page chart that OLR provided all of us back in September of 2022. And this is the Aetna plan. And it was comparing the Aetna Medicare Advantage PPO ESA plan with the GHI senior care. And you were allowed to keep both at the time, but you were definitely going to be paying. So here's, here's what this looked like. You did have a $248 deductible with the Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. Um, you had an out-of-pocket maximum of $1,073. You didn't have any co-pays on your primary care visit, but you had a $15 copay on specialists, diagnostic and labs, and mental health, okay? Most of the other stuff basically stayed the same, but I also want to show you something else because you were also... Oops, you were also going to pay premium. So here's some more copays. $50 copay for emergency care, $15 for urgent care. So that's a little bit more. You did have a hospital copay of $300, which was the same as senior care. And then all the other perk crap that we really don't um that we don't really care about. Now, this is the rate chart, as you'll see for January of 2022. This is the COBRA rates. Now, what is COBRA? When you no longer have health care provided by the city, for whatever reason, um, uh, maybe you're a, a spouse that loses uh, the retiree spouse or whatever your situation is, but now you have to, you're afforded the option to pay a continuing price to stay in the city health plan. This is what the rates are. And this gives you a peek into the window of what the premiums are for these health plans. So to the left is non-Medicare. We're not going to worry about that. But right here is the Medicare monthly COBRA rates. Now, this is 102% of the cost. So just take off a couple bucks. But I want to show you something. If you are in New York, New Jersey, or Pennsylvania, your premium was $7.65. If you are in all other areas of Aetna, <laughs> wherever their plans are, you were paying 20, 25, it was basically $25 a month, okay? They were going to charge you premium. Now, because that plan didn't go into effect, the Medicare Advantage plan, and because the court stopped them from forcing us or charging us for premium, the Aetna was very fearful because they only had a few thousand people in their plan, very few. They did not have a lot of people. Most people do not choose Medicare Advantage, just saying. 90-something percent, 94 percent, 92 percent of people, both active and retired, were in the GHI emblem plan, okay? Very few, just a few thousand people were in the Aetna Medicare Advantage plan. You had like 22,000 people that were in the HIP plan, and I want to say it was like two or 4,000 people in the Aetna plan. They were fearful of losing the market share that they had. So they suspended the copays and they suspended the premium as to not lose any market share that they currently had because they were fearful that people would leave their plan and go somewhere else. The makeup of the plan is also different. Just so you know, 
you have a different construction for prior authorization too. It's a different contract. So just if you think your plan in Florida is going to remain, you are mistaken. If the mayor and the city and the municipal labor committee are successful at forcing one plan down your throat and you will be forced into the Med Aetna Medicare Advantage plan, it is not the Aetna Medicare Advantage plan that you are currently on. And you are not going to be as happy because the plan is a little different. I just want you to know that. And there will be a time when, of course, they are going to start charging you because the Medicare Advantage plan is not in the hands of the federal government. And Aetna isn't always going to be your friend. In the beginning, there's that honeymoon period where they're going to want to do everything they possibly can to keep you happy because they're going to want to do a press gainy survey and say, hey, how much do you love us? And you're going to go, five stars, five stars. And then the co-pays start, the co-pays increase, the network narrows, and the prior authorization increases when the MLC needs to extrapolate more value out of the program. And instead of suspending 70, 80% of the prior authorizations, maybe they only suspend 10 or 20% of them. Or maybe they suspend none. Because every two years, they can change that. And you have no say. Whereas right now, you have the option to stay in traditional Medicare. They can't do that to you. And even if you want to stay in your Medicare Advantage plan, they're not doing that to all the other plans. They're not manipulating them. Right now, really, the only ones that they are manipulating, they've been manipulating, is the HIP plan, because that is the benchmark. The union, sadly, in the MLC, or I should say the MLC leadership, has been diminishing that plan, watering down the benefits, increasing the cost share onto you. And there are still about 20,000 people that are in that plan. And when that sets the benchmark and they're passing more and more costs onto the retirees that are on them, they're setting a precedent. Even though what they're doing is really kind of horrible. So I just wanted to let you know that the plan you're in today isn't going to be the one you are on if they end up forcing you onto the one plan they want you in. It's not the same. Aetna has multiple plans and the contracts are completely different. You should look at the contract construction and you should also look at who has the control of them. Sorry, Florida, but facts are facts. Have a great day.